All right, welcome back. So this is a quick demonstration of um, what I was saying about this interference being more general than waves, which is already pretty general. So this is, um, there's, it's a, uh, there are mathematical analogs to this in quantum mechanics and other things. So let me just, uh, oops, uh, show this to you. Um, it's a, a, a coupled oscillator. So the normal demonstra demonstration goes like, that goes like this. I have, uh, I have two pendulums. You know what pendulums are? Like nothing surprising there. I can set one of these two pendulums in motion, and this is what you will see over time. Over time, you will see this motion transfer over to the other pendulum. And when you wait long enough, you will see, um, sorry, they are spinning. That makes it uh, worse. All right, let me do this again. Are they, are they at least closer? Yeah. All right, if they are closer, let's try it. All right. Let me start out with this one. <laughs> I thought it this better. Okay, so. Over time, when they're matched, this comes to a stop, like right now here, and you wait long enough, and the motion will transfer back. So this is a demonstration of something called a couples, coupled oscillator. And you can kind of reason mechanically how this happens. It, you know, the pendulum has some natural oscillation frequency, and as this shakes, you see the whole stand shaking, right? That happens to match the natural oscillation frequency of the other pendulum. So that sets up a resonance and goes that way. That's one way of looking at it. Let me show you the other way that can be this, um, that's uh, similar to interference. You can look at this motion as an interference of two different types of motion. One type of motion is this, where they move together like this. That's one type of motion. You will see that when I set up, set up the motion like this, they move together forever. They don't ever do anything else. So what you saw before this is an interference of this and this, this motion. This is another stationary state, where when it's a set in motion like this, it'll always move like that. So the way you can describe um, this motion that, or this motion that you saw as interference between this and this. So at time equals zero, these two types of motion, case A and B are in phase. That res or you know, case A and B are in phase, that results in this portion being at zero, this portion being looking like this. And when you look at it carefully, these two oscillation modes, they have different frequency. So over time, they go out of phase. As they go out of phase, uh, eventually this will come to stop and this will move more. That's what you are seeing. So uh, I just want you to show this as an example of uh, types of similar, takes a similar kind of mathematical operation as what we are doing right now. And you know, this is not wave, it's an oscillation strictly, but it, um, it can be described using the same tools that we are talking about, using the same language, same everything. 